Praise God. The hand of God is not too short to save you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Have an assurance tonight. Tell your neighbor, have an assurance tonight. Have an assurance tonight. And the hand of God, and the hand of God is not too short to bring your blessing, to bring your breakthrough, to bring your healing, to bring your next level. Uh, let's put our hands together and glorify him. We thank you, Lord. You are faithful. You are holy. And you are wonderful, Heavenly Father. Receive our praises. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have more than a song. I brought myself I am your sacrifice I am more than a soul Today I brought myself I am your sacrifices before you heavenly father we present our bodies to you as living sacrifice heavenly father receive our sacrifices receive our worship tonight heavenly father lord almighty you're going to do the unthinkable tonight we are not in a hurry because are in charge, O oh God, of this service. I have more than a song today. I brought myself slowly. I am the sacrifice. I am the sacrifice. I have more than a song. I have more than a song. Today, I brought myself. I brought myself. I am your worship. I am your worship. Oh Lord, receive this, this living sacrifice. Oh, Lord, 
accepts You're sick. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, receive your wholeness tonight. Whatever is the issue with your body, as you present it as a living sacrifice to Jehovah, He doesn't accept something with blemish. He wants you to be blameless. If sicknesses are presenting you as a blemish person, every blemish of sickness to disappear now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord rule over your body. Believe in him tonight as he's healing you. Stop doubting. Trust in him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. something to you do not fail to testify testify to your neighbor testify even when you're on Facebook you can testify of the Lord what he's doing in your life tonight it is a moment to seize because we have acknowledged he's our helper our healer he's our savior that man you served, Lord, has come to worship you tonight. 
tonight, Lord. The man you healed has come to worship you, Lord. The man you helped has come to worship you. Sing again, Savior. for your faithfulness we will never fail to acknowledge you because you say we acknowledge you in all our ways we shall not lean on our own understanding but in all our ways we will acknowledge you we have acknowledged you tonight heavenly father you are the specific savior healer and helper when human beings fail to help us, we run to you for help, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your faithfulness and your kindness. Lord, as we hear come to your word tonight, let it transform someone's life, Heavenly Father. The Lord will make our calling and election sure because it is not a guesswork to be born again. It is not a guesswork whether we make it to heaven or not, we are not guessing, but we shall be sure that, Lord, we belong to you because you know who, who are you as Heavenly Father. Tonight, may you minister to us, dear Lord. Minister to us all tonight. Let the questions, questions of believers be answered tonight for your glory. We thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray you may remember the praise and worship team. The faithfulness they have shown, oh Lord. You're rewarding each and every one of them awesomely for your glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Come on, raise your hands to the praise and worship team. These are the vessels the Lord has chosen. He has called them with a purpose. Just speak a word of blessing to them. That they may continue to be used by the Lord for His glory. Thank you, Lord, for these vessels of honor. More grace. We declare more, more grace upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hakuna atakuwa wakuchoka wala kufunjika moyo kukutumikia bwana. Maana bwana huwa unalipa. Ninakuomba mfalme wakumbuke jioni ya leo. Thank you Lord. Thank you heavenly Father for you have done it. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, praise and worship. May God bless you. May the Lord favor you. May the Lord give you more grace to serve him. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate this great and amazing team. And we give a honor and glory to God for them. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. I was the appointed preacher tonight. And I thank God for this. Praise God. Were it not for him, I would not be here tonight. Praise God. I would like uh, Minister Alex to take your position, Minister Alex, as you help me do something here on the stage kindly. Thank you so much. Uh, praise God. Praise God. Uh, I will not keep you standing for long. I want to have the reading of the day. 
reading the main reading then we will continue and uh, you can you can see today's topic it is a very important topic in our lives as believers praise the lord so go with me in the book of second peter second peter one second peter one amen amen one verse five to eleven praise the lord mstari wa kwanza mpaka mstari wa tano mstari wa tano hadi kumina moja mstari wa tano hadi wa kumina moja so mr alex you let us read in english then uh, we will let you read in swahili without interrupting you all right all right so we are reading second peter one verse five to eleven so can we go together but also for this very reason giving all diligence add to your faith virtue to virtue knowledge to knowledge self-control to self-control perseverance to perseverance godliness continue to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness love continue for if these things are yours and abound you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ continue for he who lacks these things is short-sighted in even to blindness and has forgotten that he was cleansed from his old sins continue therefore brethren be even more diligent to make your call and election sure for if you do these things you will never stumble continue for so an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our lord and savior jesus christ wacha tusikie kwa kiswahili sasa wetu wa pili sura ya kwanza mstari wa 5 mpaka 11 naanza mstari wa 5 naam kwa sababu hiyo hivyo mkijitahidi sana kwa upande wenu katika amani yenu tieni na wema na katika wema wenu maarifa na katika maarifa yenu kiasi na kati katika kiasi chenu saburi na katika saburi yenu utahua na katika utahua wenu upendano wa ndugu na katika upendano wa ndugu upendo mahana mambo hayo, hayo yakiwa kwenu na kunjaa tele yawafanye ninyi kuwa si wafivu wala si watu wasio na matunda kwa kumjua bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mstari wa tisa maana yeye asiyekuwa na hayo ni kipofu aweze kuona vitu vilivyo mbali amesahau kule kutakaswa dhambi zake za zamani mstari wa kumi. kwa hiyo ndugu jitahidini zaidi kufanya imara kuitwa kwenu na uteule wenu maana mkitenda hayo amtajikwa kamwe mstari wa kumi na moja mahana hivi mtaruzukiwa kwa ukarimu kuingia katika ufalme wa milele wa Bwana wetu mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo amina amina may the lord be glorified for the readings tonight mungu achaka tukufu kwa masomo yetu leo i would urge you to sit down nauliza mkaweze kuketi thank you so much god bless you asante mungu ambariki those who are following us online wanao tufuatilia katika mtandao this is b attitudes ministries international huko ni b attitudes ministries international where god is for everyone we mahali ambapo mungu ni wa kila mmoja when you come to see god in this place wakati unapokuja kumtafuta mungu katika um, mahali hapa he will answer you accordingly atakujibu kwa wazi praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe we trust in the living god tunamwamini mungu weshaye milele the creator of the whole universe muumba wa hinji na mbingu hallelujah hallelujah if you want to know the doctrines and what whatever the basis of this ministry you can visit www 
Beatitudes Ministries International. Kama unataka kufuata mafunzo na mambo yanayofanyika mahali hapa utafuata kwa hiyo arafa mtumishi amewapatia. Yes, I repeat again www.beatitudesministriesinternational. Amina. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We have our great leader here. Tuko na wa our authority, spiritual authority. Tuko na mtumishi wetu aliyemkuu mahali hapa. His name is Pastor Axon Nongo. Kwa majina yake anaitwa Pastor Axon Nongo. The founder and the visionary of this ministry. Mwanzilishi wa hili huduma. And tonight, na usiku wa leo, I've been honored na sana to be appointed here kutumika katika madhambao and to share the word of God. Na kuwapa neno la Mungu. Praise the name of Kwa the Lord. Sifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever you are going through, mambo yote unayopitia and you don't have answers na hauna majibu i'm sure niko na uhakika there is a time kuna wakati that god will answer you ambapo mungu ataweza kukujibu i remember very well nakumbuka vizuri the first time i stepped in bmi mara ya kwanza nilipoingia bmi i just came to do my own things nilikuja kufanya mambo yangu kibinafsi i came to meet a friend nilikuja kukutana na rafiki yangu and this friend had a music project na huyu huyu rafiki yangu alikuwa na huduma ya uimbaji he said just come to our church alisema kuja katika kanisa letu then we do the planning na tufanye maandalizi That time I was looking for a church. Somewhere I'll be fed the word of God. Mahali ambapo nitalishwa neno la Mungu. And keep growing in faith. Na nizidi kuendelea katika imani. So as usual, kwa kawaida, I I just put a long, a, a side up particular Sunday. So nikaamua ibada ya Jumapili moja. I visit this friend. Nitembelee huyu bishi yangu. And we make a deal. Na tufanye Your deal. Yes. Now, uh, when I stepped in BMI, wakati nilipoingia BMI, I found that they had a youth very powerful and active youth service. Nilipata walikuwa na ibada ya wanaurika na ambao ilikuwa ya nguvu sana. The speaker that day was speaking about life skills. Na mnenaji wa hiyo siku wa hiyo siku alikuwa anaenda kuhusu ujuzi wa kimaisha. Ujuzi wa kimaisha. Amen. Hallelujah. Now he was talking to young people telling him of what the Lord has given him the abilities and the, the grace that he has given him. Alikuwa anaongea kwa wanaurika kuhusu ambao mambo Mungu amemtendea makubwa. Amen. Amen. And then I noted something. Hapo nikajua kitu. I said to myself. Nikasema what they are speaking chochote wanachokisema it's actually touching in my of my life somehow inanguzia maisha yangu mahali now it came to the main service now ikakuja ibada rasmi my friend introduced me to pastor axon nongo rafiki yangu akanifanyia introduction kwa pastor axon nongo but pastor axon nongo i didn't know he is the overseer here they don't have a banner there putting an image i didn't know who is who siko najua pastor axon nongo kama ndiye mwanzilishi wa hili kanisa ama ndiye mkuu katika hili kanisa praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe now when he greeted me we just shook hands and it was that that way praise the lord aliponisalimia tukashikana But one thing he requested me to just take a video of that day because I'm a videographer. Praise the Lord. They had invited a guest preacher. By coincidence, kwa kwa bahati tu. Kwa bahati tu. Ilio nzuri. I I by okay by God's planning let's put it that way. Wa Mungu, I happen to also be there. Nika nikafanyika kuwa mahali hapa. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Now I was asked to do the videography to take the preacher preaching and uh, I, I I said yes. Nikaambiwa nichukue video then nikakubali kufanya hivyo. And that preacher was none other than a bishop from Kisi. Na huyo mnenaji akuwa mwingine hili askofu kutoka kisi. Yes. And uh, I forgot his name maybe I will get to know ni baba ya Dr. Minister <laughs> Naomi Ogendi. Nimesahau majina yake lakini najua ni baba yake wa Dr. But Naomi. when he stood here lakini aliposimama mahali hapa and he was talking to young people na alikuwa anazungumzia kwa wanarika. He said young people. Alisema wanarika. Take your lives well. 
Chungeni maisha yenu. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. He said if you, you, you see there are no breakthroughs in your life and blah 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 many things. Alisema unaona hakuna kubadilika kwa hali zetu na mambo mengine mengi. Ukiona kitu kama hicho, if you see things like that, you check yourself. Jiangalieni nyinyi. Do you have a covenant with God? Huko na ngano na Mungu. Have you broken the covenant? Ume umeharibu hiyo angano. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And the man of God continues sharing. Mtumishi wa Mungu akaendelea kunena. In my heart I'm telling myself this is the place God wants me to be. Katika moyo wangu nilikuwa nasema hii ndio mahala Mungu anasema niwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So the happenings when the overseer came to welcome the preacher and all that I still record it to date how okay. things happened. Mambo yalipokuwa nafanyika na Nabii askofu nongo alipokuwa anakuja nilikuwa naendelea tu kuchukua video. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It was not a matter of who was standing here. Haijalishi nani alikuwa amesimama hapa. It was a matter of the voice of God confirming I should be here. Ilikuwa sababu ya Mungu maana kuwa mahali hapa. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I attended a service here uh, and one of them was a uh, Friday miracle service. Nilihudhuria ibada hapa na moja yake ilikuwa Jumamosi. The message that was being Juma ju, uh, Ijuma. Ijuma. The message that was being preached. Na ile ile message ilikuwa ina neno hiyo siku it also ministered to me ilikuwa inanenenea pia it talked about bingu zitakukumbuka it was saying that heavens will remember me hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe now the man of god was sharing his life history mtumishi wa mungu alikuwa anaelezea kuhusu maisha yake and like 95% he was preaching about me na kiasi cha 95% ilikuwa inanizungumzia mimi Asilimia 95 Asilimia 95 Then I had a confirmation na nilikuwa na nilikuwa na uhakika I should be here at such a time Na paswa kuwa mahali hapo wakati kama huo Praise the Lord Bwana Yesu asifiwe You found yourself you're tuned in online you don't know why you're there Unajikuta vizuri tu umeingia katika mtandao na unajui kwa nini uko pale A friend invited you Rafiki amekujumulisha You accepted the invitation Ukakubali ule wetu You came physically Ukakuja moja kwa moja You accepted the invitation Ukakubali wewe wetu Tell your neighbor there is a next thing Ambia mwenzako ambia rafiki yako kuna jambo lingine Confirmation Confirmation Praise the Lord Kuhakikishiwa So I know in your heart you're asking yourself Na unajua unajiuliza moyoni What does the Lord have in store for me tonight? Mungu ana nini juu ya maisha yangu usiku wa leo? What is the plan that God has in my life? Mungu akona mpango gani juu ya maisha yangu? Do I have a calling? Niko na wito. Did I call myself? Niko na mwito ama nilijiita mwenyewe? As my friend uh, and minister evangelist uh, Elijah ministered to us last Tuesday. And if evangelist Elijah alisema He used to have questions. Alikuwa anajiuliza maswali. And the Lord answered him accordingly. Na Mungu akamjibu kwa hakika. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So when you're in this place, ukiwa mahali hapa, you have not come to listen to this young preacher. Unajakuja kumsikiza huyu mnenaje mdogo. You have come to find your purpose. Umekuja kutafuta nini linalokuposa. In the house of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So as I was saying, kama nilivyokuwa nasema, If you have questions kama uko na maswali a time is coming munda hunakuja the lord will answer you mungu atakujibu accordingly kwa i thank god nashukuru mungu he positioned me in bmi aliniweka hapa bmi for me to find my purpose kujaribu kutafuta my purpose i used to run away from pulpit nilikuwa najaribu kukimbia kutoka kwa madhambao now the man of god lakini mtumishi wa mungu pastor action nongo pastor action nongo The Lord used him Mungu akamtumia to point me out kumtamburisha to point me out kumtambulisha kutoka pale and he says young man akasema you young man akasema wewe mwana kijana mdogo you will never remain you not remain behind the camera uwezi ka nyuma ya camera praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe he identified i have something to give to the body of christ kajua vizuri ako na kitu ya ku over to the Bod of Christ. I kept running away. Nilikuwa nakimbia tu. But when the appointed time came, lakini wakati muda ulipofika, I I never I never struggled. Sikungangana tena. If the Lord 
if the Lord appoints me to minister here, he gives me a message. Kama Mungu atanitumia kunena mahala hapa ananipa ujumbe. When he gives me a message, akinipa ujumbe, I don't push pastor, pastor nitafutie mahali bana, nitafutie mahali nihubiri bana. Singangani pale kumwambia mtumishi nitafutie mahali niweze ku Niekeka slot hapo baba, nipashe watu baba. I don't do that. Praise the Lord. The Lord gives me a message. And he confirms to some uh, to the leaders. He says give him. And when they say give him, I, and me I turn to God I say Lord. I download. I am downloading downloading from you from you and I give them praise the lord so what you are accepting tonight is a message known as make your calling and election sure praise the lord I'm going to give you a homework kazi ya ziada praise the lord from the readings kutoka kwa mandiko read read that uh, second peter Two, second peter 1 5 but also for this very reason giving all diligence add to your faith virtue naam kwa sababu hiyo hiyo mkijitahidi sana kwa upande wenu katika imani yenu Tieni wema na katika wema wenu maarifa. Amen. Amen. When you wait wait don't run. Add to your faith what? Virtue. Say virtue. Virtue. Virtue kwa Kiswahili? Maarifa. Virtue. Wema. Praise the Lord. Amen. Add to your faith virtue. To no, to virtue add knowledge. Praise the Lord. Tieni wema katika imani yenu. Amen. So, to the faith you are putting on virtue, which is also goodness. Praise the Lord. Amen. And to virtue you add knowledge. Praise the Lord. Kwa wema pia amatia maarifa. It has been highlighted. Continue. To knowledge, self-control. Na katika maarifa yenu kiasi to self control perseverance na katika kiasi chenu saburi to perseverance godliness na katika saburi yenu utaua continue to godliness brotherly kindness na katika utaua wenu upendano na wandugu and to brotherly kindness love na katika upendano wa ndugu upendo amen amen praise the lord I, for if these things are your are are you as and abound mahana mambo hayo yakiwa kwenu na kunjaa tele you neither be barren yawafanya ninyi kuwa si wafifu nor unfruitful wala si watu wasio na matunda in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ kwa kumjua bwana wetu yesu kristo continue for he who lacks these things is short sighted maana yeye asiyokuwa na hayo ni kipofu even to blindness hawezi kuona vitu vilivyo bali and has forgotten that he was cleansed from his old sins amesahau kule kutakaswa dhambi zake za zamani praise the lord the emphasis of the word of god ukusitiza ujumbe wa bwana is for us to remember ni kwa maana yetu kukumbuka the important things maha mambo yaliyo ya maana praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe now concerning the topic tonight now kulingana na neno la siku ya leo what we have discovered is that we can lack productiveness and effectiveness tunachojua kwamba tunaweza kosa kuzaa matunda amen amen what brings that lack is lack of those qualities that have been highlighted there kinacho kinacho sababisha tusizae matunda ni kukosa hayo mambo tume highlight praise the lord bwana sifiwe so i will request the media to display that diagram naomba ana media waweze ku display thank you so much i think i will send this if you requests that diagram there shows you the steps or the items 
that we are discussing tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Those items are crucial. Tell your neighbor they are crucial. In a believer's life. Your lack of effectiveness. Your lack of effectiveness. And lack of productiveness. As a believer. Will be caused by this lack of these things. Praise the Lord. You are telling yourself I'm a believer in Christ Jesus and only with that I will go to heaven. There is an assignment here. Praise the Lord. That these things they are emphasized that we have them in increasing measure. Praise the Lord. Because my time I gave it to praise and worship. And the word of God accordingly here. It gives us an assignment. To add. Praise the Lord. I want you to go search yourself. Praise the Lord. Search yourself what you're missing. You might be missing something out of this. You might be good, a believer. You might be a virtuous person, Muzuri too. And you may be lacking knowledge. Praise the Lord. The Bible says my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Praise the Lord. And if you lack knowledge, then it seems there is something you are lacking. You may be having that knowledge, but you lack self-control. That's why you keep on backsliding. And forward sliding. You become like a drunkard yet you are not taking alcohol. Because of lack of self-control. You may be having self-control. But you can be lacking patience. When you lack patience that means when you are praying to God. You say God is not answering. I am tired with this salvation. You say I am impatient. These fellowships are too much. That's why you are telling yourself. Praise the Lord. That impatience might be lacking inside of you as a believer. And could be a hindrance to your productiveness and effectiveness. Because when you lack patience, the Lord could be waiting to give you something or an assignment yet you are nowhere to be found because you already left. Praise the Lord. So we have godliness also. That is very uungu ama utakatifu ama utenda haki. If you have godliness and you lack kindness you become a hypocrite. Praise the Lord. You just say I'm a holy Joe, I'm just a holy. I can't <laughs> greet I can't greet people when I am at an maybe I'm attending a meeting and I want just to be prayerful. I don't want to shake anyone's hands because I have said, Lord, cleanse me. Let there be no one to make me uh, dirty here around me. But when you go out there, you lack kindness. Praise the Lord. So it's an assignment. Go search yourself. I will end this sermon with sermon. Amen. Amen. I will end this uh, sermon with uh, Luke 18. Luke 18. Luke 18. From verse 18. 
Praise the Lord. As we read this scripture, I want you to understand. Tunaposoma ili mstari nataka ukajua kwamba we are talking about calling and election. Tunanenea kuhusu mwito na kuchanguliwa. When you gave your life to Christ Jesus, ulipompa Yesu maisha yako, you answered the call. Ulijibu ule mwito. Because he says, "Come unto me." Maana anasema kujeni kwangu all those who have heavy burdens wenye mizingo mizito and i will give you rest nitawapa kupumzika my lord is light my mzingo wangu ni mwepesi and my yoke is soft na yoke sorry nira yangu nira yangu ni nyepesi ni laini ni laini amen amen so when you answer that call wakati unapokubali ule wito that's why you are here tonight ma, do mahana uko mahala hapo siku leo but ayo. you might be stagnant somewhere ma, lakini unaweza kuwa umekwama mahali because you don't know mahana ujui where you are ma, mahali ulipo that's why do mahana tonight usiku leo we are making our call and uh, election sure tunafanya kuwa wa hakika mwito wetu na uchanguzi praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe Uh, in the book of Peter they have emphasized if you do these things you will not fall. Praise the Lord. Katika kitabu cha Petro wamesema ukifanya hivi hautaanguka. If you lack these things you be short sighted. Ukikosa hivi utakuwa kipofu. You will forget that you are called from darkness to the light. Umesahau kuwa umetoka katika upofu kwa kwenda kumwangaza. Hallelujah. You forget that the Lord forgave you for being addicted to pornography being addicted to any kind of sin to any ulevi and all that Mungu amekufanya kukutoa katika hayo mambo mauhofu kukuleta katika mwangaza Yes if you lack those qualities kama utakosa hizo qualities then you not see where you're going hautaona pahali unaenda You not be sure whether you are called hautakuwa na hakika kama umeitwa or you are not ama haujaitwa Praise the Lord Bwana Yesu asifiwe So this night Uivo usiku leo Go and check Enda unjichunguze Am I lacking these things Nakosa hili na hili Am I productive or unproductive Naweza za ama siwezi za matunda Am I am I am I effective or ineffective Niko wa Nina 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 tenda ama nina ninaleta nina Nina uwezo wa kutenda ama sina Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Praise the Lord Amen Am I effective or an effective nina uwezo au sina bwana asifiwe amen when you have an answer as a negative answer know you are lacking something kama utapata jibu lako ni kinyume basi jua kuna jambo unalokosa for the assurance is for us to get into the kingdom of god kwa maana hakika yetu ni kuona ufalme wa mungu to see eternal life kuona uzima wa milele praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe i am very sure niko na uhakika The Lord will minister you with you tonight. Mungu atakuenea jioni ya leo. He will tell you what you are lacking. Atakwambia unachokikosa. Because he made you. Maana alikuumba wewe. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, let us go to the book of Luke. Twende katika kitabu cha Luke. Luke 18 verse 18. It says, Now a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Tena mtu mkubwa mmoja alimuuliza akisema Mwalimu mwema ifanye nini ili nipate kuurithi uzima wa milele Continue Mstari wa 19 Yesu akamwambia Bona unaniita mwema hakuna aliye mwema hila mmoja naye ni Mungu Yes yes So Jesus said to him Why do you call me good No one is good but one that is God Continue You know the ten, the commandments do not commit adultery do not murder do not steal do not bear false witness honor your father and your mother continue and he said all these things i have kept from my youth continue so when jesus had these things he said to him you still lack one thing Sell all that you have and distribute to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come follow me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Continue. 
But when he heard this, he became very sorrowful, for he was very rich. Continue. And when Jesus saw that he became very sorrowful, he said, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. Let's go on. For it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Continue. And those who heard it said, Who then can be saved? Continue. But he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Continue. Then Peter said, See, we have left all and followed you. So he said to them, Assuredly I said to you, There is no one who has left house or parents or brothers or wife or children for the sake of For the sake of the kingdom of God. Who shall not receive many times more in this present time. And in the age to, to come eternal life. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are making sure. We are making our call and election sure tonight. Na wetu wa akika. Asking any kind of question. Just to be sure. Tell your neighbor just to be sure. Praise the Lord. Praise and worship team. Being an example of people who are called. Praise the Lord. A minister of the gospel standing here. Muhubiri. Praise the Lord. Anasha serving in the church. Having a question of is it a sure deal? Or not? Tonight you have an answer. Surely you shall be rewarded. Praise the Lord. Amen. You shall be rewarded. Utazawadiwa. Utazawadiwa. Praise the Lord. Amen. We will have more here and more to come. Uta Praise the Lord. Hapa, in the calling that you are in, Kwa hule mwito, hulio, be uh, sure. Kwa na hakika, Hallelujah. The amen. one who called you, Uwe, he is faithful. Aliye kuhita ni mwaminifu. The one who called you is faithful. Praise the Lord. Now we had two questions there. The first question was a question from a rich man. He asked me what do I need to enter into eternal life? Jesus gave him about the commandments. He told him about the commandments. Amri. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. And uh, as we finish, I want you to understand the sensitivity of the teachings of Christ Jesus. He kept repeating. If you do what I tell you, you are my friends. Praise the Lord. He said, I no longer call you uh, slaves. Praise the Lord. He says, oh, you are my friends. With a condition. Do what I command you. And the commandment is simple good to execute good to execute jema kutenda na raisi kutenda raisi kutenda but tunaitaji neema ya mungu he commanded us to love alitupa hamri kupenda praise the lord Praise the Lord. He said we love one another. And in the qualities we read we saw love. 
at the top. Praise the Lord. So Jesus was answering the rich man pointing to that one quality there that's what the command he says praise the Lord love praise the Lord in short you have observed the commandments of God praise the Lord but the, the rich man says I have done this since my young my young age. Praise the Lord. There is something you have done as a believer doing it as a familiarity. That is what hindering you from seeing the heaven. Praise the Lord. Now Jesus showed him one thing he lacks. He told him go sell your belongings. And he assured him, you have more. In God's kingdom, it was a test, but he never, he never passed the test. But I love Peter. Among the many who asked who can be saved, and Jesus answered, we, it is possible with God. So he said, he said to himself, let me seize the opportunity. Eh, sisi tumeacha yote, tutapewa nini? We have left all what will we gain. Praise the Lord. Peter had already left. The, the rich man was told to leave, but this disciples had already left their belongings. Praise Peter, the Lord. So, the second question comes. So, la pili, la ja. We need an assurance. As we follow you, Jesus Christ, what shall we get? And he, he assures them of what they will get. Praise the Lord. May we take part in what that will be given to those who are called and they are faithful to the call. Praise the Lord. Tuwe wa aminifu. Tukiwa wa aminifu mungu wata tusaidia tupoke yale ya meahidi. If we be faithful, God will reward us to get what He has promised. Praise the Lord. So I thank the Lord for tonight. And this uh, sermon will continue and continue. But not today. We have a conference coming forth. I think when we get a chance, we will share more. But I want you to take this home. Your effectiveness and, product, and productiveness brings forth an assurity of your call and your election. For you to avoid falling, for you to avoid falling, you need to be sure of your call and election. Praise the Lord. So if you are not sure, be sure tonight. Praise the Lord. He who called us is faithful. Amen. Amen. I want us to rise on our feet. I'll just say a short word of prayer. As we prepare to go home. Amen. Amen. Media. First Thessalonians five twenty four. First Thessalonians 5:24 Praise 
praise the Lord. You have a question. The Lord is faithful to answer. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Mungu ni mwaminifu kujibu. Amen. Amen. Let us read together. What does he say? He who calls you is faithful. Who also will do it? Praise the Lord. Amen. We are asking. Ni mwaminifu ambaye awaita naye atafanya. Amen. We are asking God to reveal to us what we are lacking. Praise the Lord. Mungu akafunue ambaye anaenda kuitenda. What we are lacking. Chochote tunachokikosa siku ya leo. May the Lord reveal to us. Wacha Mungu akatufunulia. Individually. Kwa kibinafsi. What am I lacking as a believer? Nakosa nini kama mkristo? What could be hindering me from seeing the kingdom of God. Yes, I accepted the call of God. And I come to church every Sunday. And the midweek services. And I pray and I say amen and I go home. But I need an surety. Whether I'm productive or and effective. Kama nitakuwa wa kuzaa matunda. Because when I lack productiveness maana ninapokosa kuzaa and I lack effectiveness ninapokosa uwezo wa kutenda I will not be meeting the assurity of my call and my election sitaweza kuwa na ule uhakikisho wa mwito na uchanguzi wangu Praise the Lord Bwana Yesu asifiwe Just speak to the Lord nena na Mungu Ask him to assure to to to, to inform you what you are lacking nena na Mungu umjulishe ama umuita kuneneshe ni nini unachokikosa The rich man asked what do I need to enter eternal life Tajiri akauliza nini ninachohitaji ili kurithi ufalme wa Mungu And he said he had observed the commandments since the youth Akasema ametunza zile hamri kutoka utotoni mwake But Jesus told him he's lacking something Lakini Yesu akamwambia hili bado hujalifanya What are you lacking tonight? May the Lord tell you. And may you work on it. May you increase. To faith. You will add virtue. You will add goodness. You will add knowledge. Uongeze katika maariva. You will not add self control. Uongeze katika kiasi. You will add perseverance. Uongezeke katika ufumilivu. You will add godliness. Uongeze katika uungu. You will add kindness. Uongezeke katika upendo. You will add love. Uongezeke katika upendo. In Jesus mighty name. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Thank you Lord. Jesus. Just take a minute. Chukua muda wako. Take a minute to ask God to show you. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Father in the name of Jesus Christ. You have given me this platform. Not to come speak my own words. Of my own wisdom. But Lord, it is your word. Let it work in our lives. May we remind ourselves that we be we will be eager we will be eager to make our call and election sure so that we may be productive and fruitful we will, we will never miss to enter into your kingdom and we shall have eternal life Lord minister to us tonight in our hearts katika mioyo yetu reveal funua that which is lacking may we add 
The, may we add the qualities that we have read today in increasing measures so that we may not fall so that we may not be short sighted so that we may be sure of the calling and the election because Lord you are faithful because you called us may we be also qualified to enter into your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ we pray Amen, Amen. Thank you